Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a little bit about our Texas State, State Seal. Um, this picture comes from the super, supercoloring.com. So if you wanted to print one of these out at home and color it, you could. Our state seal is used on all of our official documents to prove that they are real, authentic. So um, one place that you could see the state seal of Texas is on your birth certificate if you were born in Texas. So your birth certificate proves when your birthday is, who your parents are, where you were born, and that official document is used for lots of things. So to prove it's real, they stamp the state seal on it. Now, if you were born in a different state, it will have the state seal of those states on it. And if you were born in a different country, it'll have that different country seal on your birth certificate. One really cool thing about the seal is it's not a stamp like we would use at school um, to stamp something, it, or maybe you have a stamp at home that you put in ink and then you put it on the paper and it makes a copy of the stamp. This stamp is um, a, a, a kind of stamp that like crimps the stamp down into the paper. It's not it's not ink. It makes the design down inside the paper by like um, pressing it. So if you have someone in your family who does like scrapbooking, they may have something like that that like maybe presses the paper into a star shape or something. And so that's how this works. And actually, if you go to the State Capitol Visitor Center, they actually have one of the machines that, that you can use to make a copy of the seal into a piece of paper, and you can take that home. Um, but that's what the state seal is for. So I highly encourage you to ask your parents to see your birth certificate, and then you can kind of see what the seal looks like in there. And it'd be cool to see different states, too, if you're born in different places. Um, the, other, um, the other thing about the seal that I want you to know is what is on it. So you see it says the state of Texas, of course. Then it has our lone star, kind of like on our flag. And then it has two branches on it. This branch on this side is an oak branch, and you can see the acorns on it. And the oak branch is an ancient symbol of strength because an oak tree is very strong. And this side is... Uh, an olive branch and you can see the olives on there and this is an ancient symbol for peace so the reason the oak tree is a symbol of strength is because the, the tree is very strong and the wood is very sturdy um, the reason um, the uh, olive branch is a symbol of peace is there's lots of different stories about that. We know that it was used in ancient Greece, and we know that even in the Bible, the, um, and that's a very old text, that um, there are, there's a, the olive branch being used as a symbol of peace in that. So if you look up in the Bible, the story of Noah, you will see that the um, there's a dove that brings back an olive branch, and that's a symbol of peace on earth after the flood. So even in really, really, really old texts, the olive branch has been used as a symbol of peace. So that's our state seal that you'll see used on all of our official documents. But the state seal has an imaginary reverse. So on the reverse of the state seal um, is this design. Now, we don't actually use this design on um, any of our... Oh, hang on. I don't know what happened to my seal photo. It kind of disappeared. Hold on a second. Let's see if this is it. My internet is being slow. Yep, there it is. All right, so is this is the reverse seal. And it's not really used for anything, but this is a design that we sort of pretend like is on the back of our state seal. And you'll see that it has the six flags of Texas. So remember, Spain owned us first. Then France claimed us for just a little bit. And accidentally, remember Robert LaSalle. And then Mexico won its independence from Spain and became the next flag to fly over Texas. Then we won our independence from Mexico and we had the Tex uh, Republic of Texas. Then we joined the United States, and then we left the United States and became the Confederate States of America. That's this flag right here. And then, of course, we rejoined the United States. You'll see again the um, oak branch and the olive branch. And then the three most famous battles of the Texas Revolution are also represented in the middle. So you'll have the Alamo, the come and take it cannon from Gonzales. And this is from the Battle of San Jacinto. You might remember Vince's bridge was burned during that battle. And that is our state seal and our state reverse seal.